Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rotary X here back with more Let's Play Castlevania Curse of Darkness and we're here at the Garibaldi Temple. We're gonna go inside now, see what's going on inside the temple. Uh, so far nothing of note. Stained glass, very pretty stained glass, and stuff breaks through the stained glass. Lots of stuff, and all that pretty stained glass is gone. Bone soldiers. Who drop steel? Ooh, fantastic. That's well worth the price of admission. And I only got one piece of steel? That's. That sucked. Alright, well, you're dead. Cyclops. Alright, uh, does, that means we have new stuff to make. We can make a new axe. With Gano and steel. It's really the only thing we can make right now. So, I'm actually going to hold off on that. I'm good with this this axe for now. Because really, I'm going to be investing most of my time and effort into uh, swords. Because, you know, that's what I do. I mean, I kind of want to get one of the, the scythes, or death scythe to be specific. But, uh, I'm not... I'm not focusing on it. And! We finally reach it. We get the level up. Balrog has evolved from Magmard to Speedmail, so now he's more of an armored knight, very, very much faster, and he'll get some real fun abilities. There's a reason why I went with this one as opposed to the sword versions. Uh, the sword versions are golems, the axe versions are knights, there are several different knight upgrades. One of them is a samurai, who's kind of badass. Uh, but now that we've got him, I'm going to uh, summon Tink so that I can get all of her uh, Axe Evo Crystals out of the way now uh, so that I don't have to worry about Axes anymore for the foreseeable future. And then everything else will be pretty much Swords. Because I'm gonna... that's just the route I'm gonna go. Alright, you... Are pissing me off. Go away. Get a little bit of healing action going on with Tink. And I really, I don't know my way around the temple. I'm going to so get lost exploring this temple. But, uh, it's an adventure! We're on an adventure. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite, uh, areas in one of the, the, the modern Castlevania games that's just it gives the feeling of an expansive area like the uh, the Symphony of the Night zones did, like uh, uh, the Marble Gallery, uh, the uh, Alchemy Lab. The, the library seemed kind of short, but it, it was short. Uh, the Outer Tower was kind of short. But there, there were a lot of sections in Symphony of the Night that just made it feel like the castle was ridiculously huge. So, and I'm just taking every, pretty much every door I find, and you are pissing me off. What do we have here? We have uh, a memorial ticket, and dead people, and more, as you can already see, my, uh, there we go. Tink learned Time Heal. And what that does is it heals us over time. Uh, it'll heal us more than the regular heal, but it's not instantaneous, it's regen. So, and the effect does go away if you exit the room. So be very, very careful about that. But now that we've killed so many bad guys, we learned Tink's ability. And we're gonna, there's another one we can learn as well. For this level. I believe they're all learned either using the ability so many times or doing X number of attacks. Uh, I believe it, for the most part they're all X number of attacks, but I could be wrong. I didn't really study too much on uh, evolutions. Because the game doesn't really want you to... 
there, there's not a favorite. There are a couple of really strong ones, but for the most part, all of these are fairly situational. Uh, there's going to be some situations where one is better than the other. There's one fairy in particular that's needed to open a section of castle. I believe there's a... Uh, there might be one or two of the battle type innocent devils, uh, the golem types. It may just be one. Uh, also required to open a section of the castle. So it... And we got milk! Freeman drop milk. It does a body good. Alright, you guys are pissing me off. And I want to sparkle. Oh my god, I'm really a vampire! Look at me, I'm in the light and I'm sparkling. That's why I hate Dracula so much. He turned me into a sparkle pyre. And I'm, I'm recording this with perfect ambiance at the moment. There's, uh thunder outside. It's like, oh, this is perfect. Perfect ambiance for a dark and creepy game. Except not. This is not a, a, a dark and creepy game. Where? I'm going this way. Like, where am I going? I'm getting attacked by Fleeman. And I should probably kill the Fleeman, but killing Fleeman is just a waste of time. It's even more of a waste of time because they gave them arbitrary numbers for levels. It was really just so that they could reintroduce them later with higher levels and better stats. That's really all that boils down to. Alright, um, lots of bad guys in here. This is uh, one of those times where I really should uh, use my uh, battle type and some devil. Alright, I got a potion. And really, as long as you can keep time heal up, you're, you should be fine. As long as you don't take multiple hits, like I seem to be taking. And one down. Two down. And three down. And sadly, I got a potion and evil crystal out of that. That was really not worthwhile. But we got more section over here. I also seem to remember that there's something that we need... There's several things that we need to come back here for later as well. Uh, there's one spot... Uh, I was saying how I was pretty sure outside... Uh, there's something about the... Uh, Out the outer entrance of uh, Garibaldi Temple on either side of the main entrance and level up that I was thinking there was there's something to do and one of my viewers was like yeah I'm pretty sure there's something there you know what I don't remember because it's been so long and we've got a save point what I'm going to do is I'm going to register this as a memorial ticket location so that I don't have to keep using the one from uh, Julia's shop. That way, if I want to go to Julia's shop, I can just use the ticket to take me to Julia's shop, or this way I have a slightly closer save point. That's using my noggin. Alright, so let's continue on. We've got... Well, I mean... This section over here. This place is just so weirdly designed. I'm gonna go this way. Let's see what's over here. I'm being chased. I can hear it. I hear the clank, clank, clank of the trolley. Ding, ding, ding of the. No, no, no. I spent way too much time in tech theater. You know that? Singing show tunes. People gave me hell and. Uh, high school for, you know, knowing the songs of, like, the various musical, but, like, you know what? When, when you work backstage that long, you can't not know them. You'd have to try to not know them. 
and you don't have the, the, the attention span to try to not do something while you're working backstage because you're working on stuff that's going to drive you insane. And what do we have here? This looks special. Garibaldi Temple Map. Awesome. So we have a map now. And I've got... These things are just continuing on. I really can't wait until Tank gets this evolution so I can switch back to a sword. Granted, the swords I'm using really aren't any better than the axe. But, you know, I just prefer... And I think they're just going to keep going. Do you, do you get... Are you... And there we go. Tink learned Poison Powder. Now Tink has an offensive ability. She will just randomly poison. You have no control over it. It's not one of the uh, abilities that I can press and say, Hey, do this. Uh, she will just randomly battle. Poison your adversaries. Like that. Thanks, Tink, for killing a flea man without me having to pay attention to him. What do we got over here? Alright, I think this just leads back to where we were, so we'll do the full loop. I hate flea men, and they just keep coming. Oh, there is one other area over here. Fantastic. Let's go this way. And that'll... Yep, lead there, so we don't even have to go all the way over there. We'll just continue on. And kill a bunch of fleamen. I, I was just hoping that they would drop, you know, Evo Crystals, because that's really what I need. And there was Poison Powder, you could actually see it. I don't know why I'm using the regular heal. I should just stick to time heal. It's pretty much the best you're going to get for now. There is one heal ability that I really like, and I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be getting it with this pathway. I think I'll get it. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's healing drop, and it heals based off of damage you do, which... Uh, against single targets, not as effective, but when you're getting ganged up on by a little Fleeman like this, it, it can make all of the difference. It's one of my favorite abilities. Uh, mostly because I enjoy playing classes like Dark Knight, uh, that have, you know, uh, HP drain attacks. Uh, Dark Knight in Final Fantasy XI, ha it's, it's a high-end two-hour ability was Blood Weapon, and so every melee, uh, all the melee damage you did uh, came back to you as uh, as health. So if you did, you know, 20 points of damage, you'd be healed 20 points of damage. There's a lot of confusion that people were like, oh, you do 20 points of damage and you drain 20, so you drew 40. No, it doesn't, du de never doubled your damage output like that. I wish it did. Oh, and now we have map markers which is fantastic considering I've already seen two places that I know I need to come back to. Uh, but yeah, I did, a, I did a lot of testing to prove that you didn't... Du it doesn't double damage for Dark Knight. Not that anyone still... Well, I mean, there may be a couple of people who watch me that still play. Um, if you do, more power to you. Uh, what are your thoughts on 14? I keep looking at it, I'm like, this looks like it could be awesome, but... I want Dark Knight. I love that they add in a couple of the, the legacy classes, like Summoner and whatnot. But I, I liked my Dark Knight class. I liked the the ability to, you know, Soul Eater, Blood Weapon, you know, massive spike damage for, you know, 30 seconds. And rip anything apart. I like the spike damage. But I also like the, uh... The utility of the Dark Knight spells. Dark Knight got, in, on paper, it was supposed to be really good because it had, you know, offensive spells like fire and uh, bio, and those, those spells were useless because of how they did the uh, the magic system. 
by the time you got the level 2 spell, black mages were getting like level 4 or 5. So you were severely outclassed, and your spells, for the amount of MP they cost, did not do nearly enough damage to make them worth your while. So, yeah. Uh, you only used a couple of utilitarian Dark Knight specific spells. Uh, you got Drain, which uh, would drain HP. You got Aspear, which would drain MP. Only downside to either of those is they would not uh, work on undead creatures. Undead were the bane of Dark Knights. We couldn't do anything to them. Uh, and then you also had Absorbs. Like, I could absorb enemy stats. Like, I could take their strength. And the, the best part about it is that actually did absorb. So if it absorbed 20 strength, it lowered their strength by 20. Uh, and raised my strength by 20. So... Alright, so... Alright, I gotta... There we go. Gotta steal those. Holy man's veins. Those are... Veins are actually gonna be fun to get. Alright, come on. Attack me. I wanna steal your veins. Damn it! Come on. There we go. Gotta get your veins. It's in your blood. Ow. That attack hurts, and it... Because of the camera angle, I'm getting shifted around all over the place. And a knight's vein. So they, you can steal the holy man's vein, and you can get the knight's vein. So those are actually worthwhile. And then we got these weird, uh... Garden areas here. And this one just seems to be filled with flea men. I gotta see if there's anything new that I can make after I kill a bunch of flea men. Alright, so yeah, uh, I think we're good there. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go wandering around there. But first, let's see what we can make. Can we make anything new? We can make a new sword. If we make a short sword, we can make something new. I need, I need two short swords, okay. Short sword and a knight's vein. Well, let me see what else I can make with the knight's vein. Okay, so that's the same. I can make a new spear. I can make a new helmet. With the knight's vein. Oh, decisions. Um... Let's make a new, uh, new helmet. Gallic helmet. So now I just need to get more, uh... Yeah, that's, that's better. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. I just gotta get more veins, man. I feel like I'm working for the, uh, the Red Cross at a blood bank or something. Alright, um, and that's actually where I'm gonna go in this video here. I'm not too far in, but I've got a lot more that I can do here in the temple, and we're going to make it over to that save room eventually, and then up, well, I can probably make it over to that save room in the next video, so that's, that's what we're going to aim for. So uh, I'm going to go, and I will see you guys in the next installment, so till then, later everyone.